खालसा का सेकेंड थर्ड गुरु द क्रिएटर ऑफ ऑल इज वन द ओनली वन ही इज रियलाइज बाय गुरुज ग्रेस लॉर्ड्स विजन इज ऑबटेन्ड थ्रू द ग्रेटेस्ट गुड लक बाय गुरुज वर्ड टू रिनाउंसिएशन इज अटेन्ड ऑल दो दिक्स हिंदू सिस्टम आर prevalent everywhere but the guru system is profound and unequaled by the guru system the supreme state and salvation is obtained the true lord himself comes and abides in that man's mind through the guru's way the world is saved only if the man embraces it with the love and affection rare is the person who intensely loves guru's system by guru's way or vision everlasting peace is obtained by guru's sight or his way the door of salvation is attained by serving the true guru one's family is saved one who is without the guru for him there is no salvation deluded by sin he suffers chastisement by the guru's word the body acquires peace and tranquility he who becomes resigned to guru's will him no pain afflicts deaths courier does not draw near him nanak says the guru word is absorbed in the true lord as a third guru he who dies in the guru's word banishes self conceit from within he serves the true guru without a ceasing of self interest in his mind ever abides the beneficent fearless lord some rare person of good destiny is blessed with the true guru's word amass merits so that the demerits may flee from within thee thus shall thou be absorbed in the word of the perfect guru he who is customer of merits knows the worth of merits he repeats the ambrosial word of the guru and the name by the true and the holy word one is rendered pure it is through the good qualities that the name is acquired the invaluable excellences cannot be acquired easily except when the pure self is absorbed in the holy true word very lucky are they who meditate on the name and ever place in their mind god the bestower of merits they who amass merits unto them i am a sacrifice at the true gate i sing the praises of the true one the lord himself gives gifts in the natural way nanak says the worth of his blessings cannot be told as a third guru great is the greatness of true guru he unites those who were separated from the lord since long into his union such union does he himself makes his worth the lord himself knows in what way can one appraise god's worth by guidance of the guru's word some rare person may meet the infinite inaccessible and unknowable lord through the guru a few may know lord's worth some rare one may become the recipient of the lord's grace by devotion to the sublime word of the guru one becomes sublime rare is the person who can make the meaning of the holy word manifest without the name the body writhes in pain and agony if the true guru meets then is the pain removed without meeting the guru one suffers pain the self willed person is given severe punishment the nectar of the god's name is exceedingly sweet he whom the lord causes to drink he alone drinks it by guru's grace does one obtain god's elixir nanak says one who is imbued with the name attains salvation as a third guru my lord is true deep and profound by serving him the body forth with acquires comfort and peace through his word the god's devotees easily swim across at their feet we fall ever fall they whose mind is tinged and imbued with the lord's love their pain of birth and death goes and they easily gain the god's portal he who tastes the divine word obtains the true relish he lodges god's name within his mind the lord god is ever all pervading he himself is near he himself afar all talk of god through word and speech he to whom the lord himself shows grace unites 
with his own self merely by uttering words the lord is not obtained by guru's grace he comes and abides in the mind the guru ward eliminates pride from within his self he has discarded temporal love and is imbued with the god's love he contemplates the very pure word of the guru nanak says the name of the lord is man's ennobler as a third guru by involving in duality one incurs pain without the name one's life is wasted away in vain by serving the true guru understanding is attained then none gets attached to worldly love those only who are attached to the essence becomes acceptable those that day and night meditate with their heart on the god's name by the guru's word realize god is one those who attach themselves to the branch not the source get no reward for the blind deeds severe punishment is given the self willed apostate is blind and finds no place of rest he is the worm of ordure and gets absorbed in ordure in the guru's service the mortal always obtain peace and being in the holy company sings the praises of the god he who meditates on the name of the lord says himself as well as says his lineage by the holy word of the guru name divine is proclaimed nanak says through the holy word man obtains lord's presence within his heart his home under guru's guidance bathe thou in the name water of the tank of truth thereby thy filth of evil intellect and sin shall be washed off as a third guru the perverses 